Hello and welcome as we uncover the most fascinating facts about Vietnam. Did you know that Vietnam is the world's largest exporter of cashew nuts and black pepper? Yes, you heard that right. This Southeast Asian country is a powerhouse of agricultural production with its lush landscapes brimming with vast plantations of cashew and black pepper. Agriculture plays a vital role in Vietnam's economy, employing a large percentage of the population and contributing significantly to the country's GDP. The warm, tropical climate and fertile soil conditions make it an ideal place for growing a variety of crops, but cashew nuts and black pepper reign supreme. To give you an idea of the scale, Vietnam's cashew plantations span over a million hectares, producing more than a third of the world's total cashew nuts. These nuts are not only a favorite snack around the globe, but they're also a key ingredient in vegan cheese and dairy alternatives, making Vietnam a major player in the global food industry. And it doesn't stop there. Vietnam is also the king of spice, leading the world in black pepper production. The country's pepper farms stretch across hundreds of thousands of hectares, generating over a third of the global supply. So the next time you sprinkle some black pepper on your food, there's a good chance it came from Vietnam. But wait, there's more. Vietnam is also the second largest exporter of rice worldwide, trailing just behind Thailand. The country's fertile Mekong Delta region known as the Rice Bowl of Vietnam, produces millions of tons of rice every year. It's not just a staple food for the Vietnamese people but also a major export product that feeds millions around the world. So next time you enjoy a spicy dish or a handful of cashews, remember that they might well have come from Vietnam. This small yet mighty nation is truly a giant in the agricultural world, providing us with some of our favorite flavors and staples. From the humble cashew to aromatic black pepper and hearty rice, Vietnam's agricultural prowess is a testament to its hard-working farmers and fertile lands. Imagine walking into a cave so large it has its own weather system. Welcome to Sun Dung Cave in Vietnam. Tucked away in the heart of Vietnam's Phong NHA, Ke Bang National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, lies the world's largest cave system, Sun Dung Cave. This colossal natural wonder was discovered relatively recently, in 1991, by a local man named Ho Khan. However, it wasn't until 2009 that it was fully explored by the British Cave Research Association. Sun Dung isn't just a cave. It's an underground realm of its own. Spanning over five and a half miles in length, it's so enormous that it could house a 40-story skyscraper within its cavernous expanse. But it's not just the size that's jaw-dropping, it's what's inside the cave that truly amazes. Imagine navigating through the darkness only to stumble upon an underground river, flowing silently through the heart of the cave. This is not a figment of fantasy, but a reality within Sun Dung. The cave's unique geology has allowed for the creation of this subterranean waterway, a sight that leaves explorers awestruck. As you delve deeper, an unexpected sight awaits. A jungle thrives in the cave's belly, sustained by light streaming in from collapsed roof sections. This hidden oasis, known as the Garden of Edom, is a testament to nature's resilience and adaptability, flourishing in a place where one would least expect. Sun Dung Cave is nestled within Phong NHA, Ke Bang National Park, a treasure trove of over 300 other caves and grottos. The park, recognized by UNESCO for its outstanding geological and biodiversity values, serves as a protective shield for Sun Dung, preserving its pristine condition and protecting its unique ecosystem. But the cave is more than a geographical marvel. It's a symbol of the untamed beauty that Vietnam holds within its borders, a testament to the country's rich natural heritage. It's a hidden world within our world, waiting for those brave enough to venture into its depths. Sun Dung Cave is a testament to Vietnam's rich natural beauty, a hidden world within our world. When you think of East Asian languages you might picture intricate Chinese characters. But did you know Vietnamese uses a Latin-based alphabet? Yes, you heard that right. The Vietnamese language as we know it today, is written using a modified version of the Latin alphabet, known as the Vietnamese alphabet, or Chu Quoc Ngu. The journey of the Vietnamese language has been a fascinating one. Originally the Vietnamese people used a writing system called Chu Nam, which was a modified version of Chinese characters. However, during the 17th century, Catholic missionaries from Portugal and France arrived in Vietnam. They found the Chinese characters difficult to use for transcription, and hence, they developed a new writing system using the Latin alphabet, adding diacritic marks to represent tones. What makes the Vietnamese alphabet interesting is the use of these diacritic marks. 
Vietnamese is a tonal language, meaning the pitch or inflection used when pronouncing a word can change its meaning. The alphabet includes five diacritic marks used for tones, and each can drastically alter a word's meaning. The Vietnamese alphabet really came into its own during the French colonial rule in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The French colonial administration encouraged the use of the Latin script instead of traditional Chinese characters. As a result, by the mid-20th century, the Vietnamese alphabet had effectively replaced Chu Nam as the standard writing system across the country. This Latin twist in the Vietnamese language reflects the country's historical interactions with the West and particularly the impact of French colonial rule. Today the Vietnamese alphabet stands as a testament to the country's unique history and culture. It is a symbol of Vietnam's resilience and adaptability, embodying its ability to embrace change while maintaining its unique identity. The Vietnamese alphabet, a Latin script with a twist, is a fascinating reflection of the country's unique history. Traffic circles can be confusing but imagine navigating the world's largest one right in the heart of Ho Chi Minh City. This isn't just any ordinary roundabout, we're talking about the Ho Chi Minh City roundabout also fondly known as the Saigon Circle. Spanning a remarkable diameter, the Saigon Circle is a marvel of urban planning and design. It's not just about size though, the structure of this roundabout is a testament to Vietnam's innovative spirit. It's designed with multiple lanes, each designated for a specific type of vehicle, be it cars, motorcycles, or bicycles. The roundabout's design ensures a smooth flow of traffic despite the city's high vehicle density. But the Saigon Circle is not just a traffic solution, it plays a crucial role in the city's transportation system. It connects several major roads acting as a vital hub for the bustling metropolis. Think of it as the beating heart of Ho Chi Minh City, pumping life into its many arteries, the busy streets and avenues. For the locals, the Saigon Circle is more than a traffic feature, it's a symbol. It stands as a testament to the city's rapid growth and development. It represents the pulse of a city that never sleeps, a city always on the move. Whether you're a local navigating your daily commute or a tourist taking in the sights, the Saigon Circle is a constant, a reminder of the city's vibrant energy and dynamic spirit. Moreover, the roundabout's significance extends beyond the practical. It's a place where tradition meets modernity, where the buzz of modern city life meets the charm of old Saigon. It's a place that tells a story, a story of a city and a nation in constant evolution. As we navigate the lanes of this massive traffic circle, we're not just traversing a road, we're journeying through a piece of Vietnam's urban history. Every turn, every lane change, every honk of a horn tells a story of a city on the move. The Ho Chi Minh City Roundabout, a symbol of Vietnam's rapid urban growth and its bustling dynamic cities. Vietnam is not just a single cultural entity, it is a vibrant mosaic of 54 officially recognized ethnic groups. Let's delve into the heart of this mosaic starting with the Chmong people. Nestled in the highlands of northern Vietnam, the Hmong are known for their vibrant textiles and intricate silver jewelry. They speak a language of their own, Hmong, and they celebrate life with colorful festivals like the Hmong New Year, where traditional music and dances are the highlights. Next, we have the Tay people the second largest ethnic minority in Vietnam. They reside in stilt houses along the valleys and lower mountain slopes, leading a life deeply intertwined with nature. Their language, Tay, is one of the Thai languages which also include Thai and Lao. The Tay people are known for their folk songs called Then, which are often accompanied by a musical instrument called the Dan Tin. Then there's the Dao people, also residing in the highlands of northern Vietnam. The Dao are recognized by their vibrant red headscarves and their unique script, which is based on Chinese characters. Their culture is rich with traditional rituals, such as the Kapsak ceremony, a rite of passage for Dao men. Last but not least, we have the Khmer people who live mainly in the Mekong Delta region. They speak Khmer, the official language of Cambodia, and practice Theravada Buddhism. The Khmer people are renowned for their weaving, pottery and wood carving skills, and their traditional music and dance forms, like the Khmer classical dance, are integral to their cultural identity. Each of these ethnic groups, along with the other 50, contribute their unique languages, cultures and customs to the diversity of Vietnam. They are the vibrant threads that weave together to form the rich cultural tapestry of the nation. In Vietnam, diversity is not just accepted, it's celebrated. Each ethnic group adds a unique thread to the colorful tapestry that is Vietnam. Thanks for joining, please don't forget to love the like button, harmoniously, subscribe and enhance the bell for more updates on living a balanced informed life. 
Also, your comments and feedback are always welcome if you like the content. Signing off from Curio Nexus until next time.